Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Frank's Working Hands. Today's video is going to be on seed starting, so let's get into it. These are my seeds. Um, a few things that we're going to need for this project is going to be paper towels, plastic Ziploc bags, water, and a marker so that you can go ahead and identify what you have in each ziplock bag now first you want to take your paper towel fold it in half and make sure that it can fit into your ziplock bag without any of the corners being scrunched up if you have to cut the paper towel do so then you want to saturate the paper towel you can use a spray bottle or dip it like i did then you place your seeds on it after you unfold the paper towel. Paper towels, once they're wet, it's hard to unfold. So it might take you a little time. You might rip one of them. Don't matter if you rip it, you can reuse that same paper towel. It's not that important. The seeds I'm using here are jalapeno seeds. These seeds came out of some produce that I bought from the store and I wanted to see if I can regenerate the same jalapeno that I had bought at the store. If you are using seeds that are, I want to say like got a hard shell, you want to soak these and actually break open a little portion so that the water and moisture can go inside of the seed. Once the seeds have grown roots and have some leaves, you could actually place them into your garden after that. But sometimes the seeds will end up getting stuck to the paper towel don't worry you can also plant the paper towel into the soil too pick a window that has the most sun shining through it all day long so therefore this one is going to get me six to about seven to eight ish sunlight per day so I chose this window. This window got a heater up under it, so it's going to give them heat so that they will germinate quicker. Right here is a couple of um, labels that I got from Dollar Tree. You get 10 labels. These are so, you know, perfect for the cause because usually i'll go ahead and use popsicle sticks and these last way longer than popsicle sticks and you can write on them but some people are gonna say that once you use the marker on there they will not it will not stay on there so what i do is i use some tape right over the marker and that actually will allow them to stay on there all the time and if you don't want to use that, you could go ahead and tape the another piece of paper up under that. Right here is another variety of jalapenos. These are hot jalapenos. They're red. Hopefully they're going to turn out red. I haven't had any such luck with jalapenos. I think it's due to the fact that I don't use any fertilizer. I try to be as natural as possible. I do not know where I got this long old bag from, but this bag is long. I should have used a different bag, but by the time I got all the way through, I didn't really care. Um, you want to keep the bag that it came in. So you know how to sow these seeds once it's time to put them in soil. So it'll tell you which type of spacing and everything like that on the back of the pack. So keep the pack. Right here I have some corn seeds. 
and these are sweet corn they're actually too big for this method and you don't really want to sow some seeds in this type of method you want to actually put them into a container or into your actual garden bed especially these but I was going to just check because these are some old seeds from last year and the pack obviously said that they're expired so I was just going to check and see if they were going to germinate or not I'm not about to go ahead and get my hopes up for something that's not even going to actually possibly sprout so this is just a way to go ahead and get it done so I had to double up the paper towel because these seeds were going to move around if they didn't have nothing to hold them as you can see a couple of them fell out but all i would have really had to do was take a stapler and staple them in place but i didn't do that but you put a staple on each side of the seed and that allows the roots to be able to grow down okay here is all the bags with all of the these are flowers these are tomatoes and greens and space tomatoes and spinach and jalapenos and i got red lettuce um cucumbers to straight eight and i got space master cucumbers bell peppers full colored bell peppers so these are just the green these to the full color they're going to get you the reds the orange the yellows um, two different types of tomatoes these are like some big tomatoes like about that big and then I got the Ramos which is about that big then cauliflower sweet corn and that's about it oh yeah and black seed uh, Simpson lettuce that's the best lettuce in history I go to the garden, I rinse it off just one piece at a time. Don't even need no salad dressing or anything. That is the best lettuce. Oh yeah, now I, I think I got watermelon. Yeah, watermelon. So that's all. Um, definitely make sure you're planting seeds, especially vegetables that doesn't really flower like that. You want to actually grab you some flowers to allow bees to come through and actually pollinate all of your vegetables so that's why I got some of these uh, plants to go with these so these are actually going to go in my garden too this is my second day of having these in my windowsill so I'm seeing a lot of roots growing I guess it's because of the heater down below that's allowing these seeds to grow so quickly it's still cold outside and i'm up here getting growth that i would never seen before planting in dirt so you're getting the roots already and everything like that it's only two days if you want to keep seeing updates of this videos of these seeds growing and seeing my harvest please leave a comment at the bottom and subscribe and hit the bell on the side and you'll get updates when i have new videos thanks for watching i'm out